Defining authoritarian parenting. Authoritarian parenting, the term itself, might seem a bit daunting, and in many ways it is. This style of parenting is often likened to a dictatorship where parents set the rules and expect unquestioned obedience from their children. At the heart of authoritarian parenting is a balance that leans heavily towards high demands and away from responsiveness. What does this mean? Well, imagine a parent who sets incredibly high standards for their children in academics, in behaviour and in extracurricular activities. These parents expect their children to not just meet these standards but accede to them, almost as if they're Olympic athletes training for a gold medal in life. However, while the bar is set high, the safety net of emotional support that should be beneath it is often missing. Authoritarian parents often focus on discipline and obedience. They may overlook the importance of providing the emotional support their children need. They may not offer the necessary encouragement or positive feedback that children need to build their self-esteem and confidence. In this environment, children are expected to follow rules without exception. Questions or discussions about these rules are typically discouraged. The why behind a rule is considered less important than the rule itself. This can lead to a communication gap where children may feel they can't express their thoughts or feelings openly. In a nutshell, authoritarian parenting is a rigid, rule-based parenting style marked by high expectations and low emotional responsiveness. It's a style that can shape a child's life in many ways, some of which we'll explore further in our discussion. Remember, understanding parenting style isn't about assigning blame or feeling guilty, it's about gaining insight into how our actions and attitudes affect our children, and where necessary, making changes that can help us become better parents. Characteristics of Authoritarian Parenting Authoritarian parenting is a complex style with several defining characteristics, so let's break them down. Demanding but not responsive. Authoritarian parents are known for their high demands, their strict rules that expect their children to follow. However, they often fall short in being responsive to their children's needs. They may not be attuned to their children's feelings or emotions, focusing more on the compliance with rules than understanding their children's perspectives. Little warmth or nurturing. Whilst it's not true for all, many authoritarian parents may not display a lot of warmth or nurturing. Their focus on discipline and rules can sometimes overshadow the softer, more nurturing aspects of parenting. This lack of warmth can make their home environment feel more like a training camp and less like a safe, loving space where children can grow and explore. Little explanation for punishments. In an authoritarian household, because I said so is a common response to a child's question about why they are being punished. These parents believe in the power of punishment over explanation and they expect their children to obey without understanding the reasoning behind the rules. Few choices for children. Authoritarian parents control most aspects of their children's lives. They decide what their children should do, how they should do it, when they should do it. This leaves little room for children to make their own decisions and learn from their mistakes. Impatient misbehaviours. Misbehaviour is not tolerated in an authoritarian household. These parents are often impatient with mistakes and may resort to punishment rather than taking the time to teach their children why their behaviour was wrong. Mistrusting. Authoritarian parents tend to be mistrusting. They may not believe in their child's ability to make good decisions, leading to them to control their child's actions closely. Unwilling to negotiate. Negotiation is often seen as a sign of weakness. These parents set the rules and expect obedience without discussion. Use of shaming tactics. Some authoritarian parents use shaming tactics to enforce discipline. They may belittle their children or make them feel guilty to ensure obedience. Remember, these characteristics are not indicative of a parent's love for their child. Many authoritarian parents deeply love their children and believe they are doing what's best for them. However, understanding these characteristics can help parents reflect on their own parenting style and consider if there are areas they may wish to change. Causes of authoritarian parenting Authoritarian parenting doesn't happen in a vacuum. It's often the result of various factors, including upbringing. Parents often parent the way they were parented. 
If someone grew up in a household with strict rules and high expectations, they might replicate this style with their own children, believing it to be the right way to parent. Personality Traits Certain personality traits, such as being controlling, rigid or having high need for order, can contribute to an authoritarian parenting style. These parents may find it difficult to tolerate ambiguity, unpredictability or cynical chaos that comes with raising children. Cultural influences. In some cultures, authoritarian parenting is the norm. Respect or authority and elders is highly valued and children are expected to obey without question. Parents from these backgrounds may carry these cultural values into their own parenting. Effects of authoritarian parenting. The effects of authoritarian parenting on children can be significant and long lasting. Here are some potential negative and positive outcomes. Negative outcomes. Low self-esteem. Children of authoritarian parents may struggle with low self-esteem. The constant criticism, lack of positive reinforcement, can lead children to believe they're not good enough. Social difficulties. These children might have trouble making friends or fitting in socially. The lack of freedom to express themselves and make their own decisions can hinder their social development. Poor self-control. Without the opportunity to make decisions and experience natural consequences, children may not develop good self-control. They may either become overly reliant on external rules or rebel against them. Aggressive behaviour Some research suggests that children of authoritarian parents are more likely to display aggressive behaviours. This might be a reaction to the harsh disciplined behaviours used by their parents. Positive effects Good at following rules Children raised by authoritarian parents often become very good at following rules. They understand the consequences of breaking them and are usually compliant. Responsibility. These children may also develop a strong sense of responsibility. They are used to high expectations and often strive to meet these. Goal driven. Some children with authoritarian parents become highly goal driven. They are used to clear expectations and may apply this clarity to their own personal goals. Remember, every child is unique and these effects can vary widely. The same parenting style can affect different children in different ways. It's also important to know that positive outcomes do not necessarily justify the negative impacts. It's always beneficial to strive for a balanced approach that combines structure and warmth and understanding. 5. Avoiding Authoritarian Parenting If you've recognised some authoritarian tendencies in your own parenting, and want to shift towards a more balanced approach, here are some tips. Learn about authoritative parenting. Authoritative parenting, not to be confused with authoritarian, is often seen as a more balanced approach. Authoritative parenting sets clear expectations and rules, but they also show warmth. Listen to their children's opinions and encourage independence. Reading up on this style can provide a helpful alternative to authoritarian parenting. Listen to your kids. One of the key differences between authoritarian and authoritative parenting is responsiveness. Make an effort to listen to your children's thoughts, feelings, opinions. This doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say, but showing them their voice matters can make a big difference. Establish household rules. Rules are important, but they should be fair, clear and consistent. Involve your children in the rulemaking process. This can help them understand the reasons behind the rules and make them more likely to follow them. Use logical consequences. Instead of relying on strict punishment, try using logical consequences. For example, if a child doesn't put their toys away, a logical consequence might be that they can't play with those toys the next day. This helps children understand the impact of their actions. Consider a parenting class. Parenting classes can provide valuable insights into different parenting styles and practical strategies for dealing with current parenting challenges. They can also provide a supportive community of other parents who are facing similar struggles. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight. It's okay to take small steps and make gradual changes. The fact that you're willing to learn and grow already makes you an amazing parent. Keep going and remember to be kind to yourself along the way. So. Conclusion for today. As we wrap up and deep dive into authoritarian parenting, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. 
We've explored the definition of authoritarian parenting, a style characterised by high demands and low responsiveness. We've looked at the common traits of authoritarian parents, such as being demanding but not responsive, showing little warmth or nurturing and using shaming tactics. We've discussed potential causes of authoritarian parenting, including upbringing, personality traits and cultural influences. We've also examined the effects this parenting style can have, both negatively and positively, on their children. Finally, we've shared some tips for avoiding authoritarian parenting, such as learning more about authoritative parenting, listening to your kids, establishing household rules, and using logical consequences and considering a parenting class. Now, it's over to you. Take some time to reflect on your own parenting style. Are there elements of authoritarian parenting in your approach? Are there areas you may wish to change? Remember, this isn't about guilt or blame, it's about growth and understanding. And let's not forget, there's no such thing as a perfect parent. We all make mistakes. We all have days we wish we'd handle things differently. But every day is a new opportunity to learn and grow. Parenting is a journey, not a destination. It's about striving, not for perfection, but for improvement. It's about providing the best environment we can for our children to grow, learn and thrive. So, keep learning, keep growing and most importantly, keep loving your journey as a parent.